The rapid spread of measles is prompting newer and stronger measures from health officials across the country. The CDC says the number of cases has grown to 555 in 20 states this year. It is on track to be the worst year for the disease since health officials said it was eradicated in 2000. Suburban Rockland County, New York, is among the hardest hit areas with 186 cases since October, mostly in the ultra-Orthodox Jewish community. Mola Lange is outside a synagogue in Spring Valley, New York, with Rockland County's aggressive response. Mola, good morning. Well, good morning. While Rockland County's first emergency order banning unvaccinated people from public spaces is currently being challenged in court, the county has issued a new order aimed at people already infected with measles. Now, as the virus spreads from New York into other states, officials say it is an emergency that requires action now. Despite our best efforts, this outbreak is not going away. If anything, it is now accelerating, much as we feared. Executive we Ed Day implored people in Rockland County to help reverse the troubling trend. Tuesday, he announced that all people infected with measles must avoid public places and stay in their homes for 21 days. Failure to comply will result in a fine of $2,000 per violation per day. To say we are overreaching flies in the face of fact, history, and the most important, common sense. The rapidly growing outbreak in New York is centered around ultra-Orthodox Jewish communities, both in Rockland County and in Brooklyn. But the impact there is now spreading beyond the state. Last month, a man who had visited New York drove to Michigan and accidentally infected 38 other people with the disease. He says he was unaware he had contracted measles, which is so contagious that if one person has it, up to 90% of the people close to that person who are not immune will also become infected. Common symptoms include a high fever, a cough, and a red rash. Are there concerns that it will continue to spread? Absolutely, there are concerns that it's going to continue to spread. Dr. Alana Levine is a pediatrician in Rockland County who says preventing disease should always come before having to treat it. This is a disease that was eliminated from the United States in the year 2000. It's unbelievable to me as a pediatrician that I'm now having to worry about my patients coming down with the measles. It seems like we're going backwards. It, it feels like we're going backwards in time. Now, just because you don't have the virus doesn't mean you can't spread it. Those initial symptoms can often seem like the common cold. Uh, infected people can spread the virus from four days before through four days after uh, that initial uh, red rash appears. So, Gail, that is why uh, officials are really demanding that people get vaccinated immediately to stop the spread of this virus. All right, Mola, that's very good advice, but so many people are not listening. It is, it is amazing in 2019 that we were talking about a measles outbreak. It's a great report, spreading. a great report by Mola, and I'm fascinated how in the face is what is unequivocal science. Yes. Absolutely clear mm -hmm. that vaccines are safe, that you need to get this, that there's still a belief that they are. And I think we need to figure out where this news is coming from, where the spread of information that's sort of infecting our knowledge base. Mm -hmm. Well, and as the psychologists who look at this say, people who hold these views, when you present them with facts, often they double down on their view, yeah. which makes it entrenched. And so it's a hard hard thing to get at, too, as a public health, health issue. In the meantime, people are getting very hurt and sick. You need to think about that.